a few days ago, uh, I posted a video of a script that I wrote for Nokia N900 using Pi Game, and it was a fake 3D cube. And if you were uh, John eighty one zero seven eight uh, suggested doing it with a uh, globe instead of a 3D cube, so that's what I did. And so basically, I'm using the same code and I just replaced the images that I had rendered out with Blender before. Here is the new globe here and as I move my finger across the screen I can rotate the globe left and right. And then also of course since we have the accelerometer in the Nokia N900 I have a accelerometer version and uh, this is the same code as a cube except for I made one modification. Before, if you tilt it one way, eventually it would hit the end and stop rotating and same with the other direction. Uh, I made this a continuous loop so if you tilt the, the phone like so to the right, it will rotate to the right forever until you tilt it back the other way and then it will rotate to the left forever. So that was just like uh, just a little bit more if-then statement I added to the code just to get it to loop around like that. So. Basically the same code as before, but it, you can see it's very easy to replace the images that I did it with. And uh, also, if you look in the description, you'll see the link to the package uh, that has this code in it, has the images, and I also included the uh, Blender file that I created the 3D globe with. So uh, go ahead, check out the description, download the code. Uh, you can run it on your computer for the the one uh, that I was moving my fingers with, uh, you can do that with your mouse. Uh, of course, the accelerometer will not work unless you're running it on a Nokia N900 and run on your computer. Uh, unless you have an accelerometer on your computer, in which case you probably still have to modify the code to get it to work with your accelerometer. But either way, download the code, play with it, and feel free to comment and rate this video. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.